Hi, I'm Cliff Alaparty with ImmortalEphemera.com and today we are taking a look at paper uh, photos, paper premium photos. These were issued over a number of years uh, from the beginning of 1933 and again from 1936 to 38 by the Philadelphia Record and these would come as an insert in the Sunday paper. And they're on paper stock. Measure seven and a half by nine and a half. Here's the Maestro Ben Bernie. Blank backs. Paper's thick enough to be creased, but these are uh, rather commonly seen with some edge tears, some wear and tear to them too. As for the size, they're a little big to compare to a baseball card, but I'll put it up against an eight by ten photo. There's George and Gracie, and you can see the extra space. Seven and a half by nine and a half. And today's photo is one of my all-time favorites, Warren William. And if you're looking for more on Warren, whoops, I'll go this way. If you're looking for more on Warren, I actually have another website that's warrenwilliam.com with lots of movie reviews and information about Warren William. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. These are the 1930s Philadelphia Records supplement photos. M23 is the uh, ACC, or American Card Catalog designation from Jefferson Burdick. And I believe we're going to see 60 of them. About 60 either way. Here they come. This is another clip where I have to apologize for my old practice of putting a watermark at the bottom right corner of the images on my website. Uh, some of these have my old website nickname, uh, name, thingsandotherstuff.com, while others have the current Immortal Ephemera uh, site name. It's an old gallery, so I'm just glad I fell out of this practice. Today we're looking at the M23 Philadelphia Record newspaper supplements, and we're leading off with John Barrymore, who, uh, as you can see at the bottom, it says Supplement of the Philadelphia Record, Sunday, June 11th. And uh, these were issued throughout the 30s, for movie stars at least, and looking at the calendars and seeing how the Sundays matched up throughout the decade, these would be from 1933, this first grouping. And once a week they were issued, here's uh, the following week, is June 18th, 1933, is Janet Gaynor. And I believe I have all of these, although there is a missing week along the way. Uh, June 25th, 1933, is Joan Blondell. But the missing week might have just been a week they took off uh, when we get to it. I think it was late November. Oh, that's a little smaller image. Uh, July 2nd, 1933, Clark Gable. July 9th, 1933 is Greta Garbo. And these are on paper. They were a newspaper supplement that came in the Sunday paper. Uh, the paper is higher quality than at least the newspapers we're familiar with reading today. It's more like a old uh, matte magazine page, you know, a non-glossy magazine page. It's a little, there's a little something to it, but it's still paper. They tear easily. Uh, July 16th, 1933 is Joan Crawford. July 30th, 1933 is Jean Harlow, and you can see what I mean about the tears at the bottom left of this one. Top left corner seems to have some staple marks. There's wear to this one. But these were meant to be uh, pulled out, saved, hung on the walls. August 6th, 1933, Joey Brown. And remember, you only saw these stars in those days when you went to the movies or when you were looking through the magazine or the newspapers, so here was a way to have them on the wall of your room. August 20th, 1933, Jackie Cooper. August 27th, 1933, Warner Baxter. September 3rd, ooh, smudgy. Uh, September 3rd, 1933 is Marie Dressler, and let's get away from that. September 10th, 1933 is Kay Francis. September 17th, 1933 is Mae West. Now, I said these were called M23s. That's the uh, name given to them in the uh, famed Jefferson Burdick's American Card Catalog. And the M prefix is just a designation that Burdick used to put in front of all the periodical issues that he handled. And 23, it's kind of a random numbering. So, the name kind of stuck. These measure uh, 7.5 by 9.5. For the most part, there are a couple exceptions that I'll mention. 
October 1st, 1933 is Gary Cooper. And our final shot from 1933, a, a pair here on October 8th, 1933, James Dunn and Sally Eilers. Then the M23s, uh, the Philadelphia record didn't issue them for a while, and they came back in 1936. And here we have the May, tw uh, May 31st, 1936, celebrating the, the own quintuplet's second birthday on May 28th. Now that's, whether you want to consider that a movie one or just a general pop culture one, it's up to you, though the Dion's did appear in some movies at the time. Then we get the straight movie stars beginning the following weekend, uh, June 7th, 1936, with Myrna Loy. June 14th, features Robert Taylor. And this is the probably the largest grouping of the M23 uh, Philadelphia Record Supplements, the 1936 issues into 1937. And you, these are the most commonly seen ones. The 1933 ones we already saw. You don't see nearly as much as these. Uh, June 21st, 1936 is Claudette Colbert. June 28th, 1936 is Nelson Eddy. July 3rd, 1930. I'm sorry, July 5th, 1936 is Shirley Temple. And I'm sure that was one of the most popular ones with the kids. July 12th, 1936 is Clark Gable. July 19th, 1936 is Grace Moore. And these are very affordable. Even the Shirley Temple is only going to set you back 10 or $12 probably. You know, Grace Moore is probably in the 4 to $6 range depending on condition. And everybody else is in between those numbers. Uh, July 26th, 1936, one of my favorite child stars, Freddie Bartholomew. I actually have an e-book about Freddie. August 2nd, 1936, is Gene Arthur. August 9th, 1936, is William Powell. August 16th, 1936, is Carol Lombard. August 23rd, 1936, is Charles Boyer. August 30th, 1936, is Gene Harlow. Probably uh, about the same value as the Shirley Temple, thereabouts. September 6th, 1936 is Gary Cooper. September 13th, 1936 is Merle Oberon. Here's a good one. September 20th, 1936, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. In action. September 27th, 1936, is Robert Montgomery. October 4th, 1936, is Jeanette McDonald. And then uh, the following week, October 11th, I don't have anybody. So I don't know if they skipped a week or if, if over the years I've just somehow avoided the October 11th premium but uh, supplement. But we move to October 18th, 1936, and it's the return of Warner Baxter. October 25th, 1936, is Irene Dunn. And other than that missing week I just mentioned, I'm almost positive that I have all of these, or all of them are on display here. On November 1st, 1936, is Fred McMurray. November 8th, 1936, is Simone Simon. Then there's a little break... And around Christmas time, they had this special one, non-movie related, December 20th, 1936, it was issued. And it has the uh, former King's Farewell Address from December 11th of that year. And this is the famous speech, uh, it's in paragraph 3, which I'm not sure you can read, so I'll read it, it'll say, uh, But you must believe me when I tell you that I have found it impossible to carry this heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as King, as I would wish to do without the help and support of the woman I love. And I want you to know that, that that the decision I've made has been mine and mine alone. So a little history, and there'll be some more, more general history as we go forward. And the new year, January 3rd, 1937, Burns and Allen, George and Gracie. January 10th, 1937, Rudy Valley. And these 1937 ones seem to be more uh, radio personalities, musical entertainers perhaps, although they all have a movie uh roots as well. 
January 17th, 1937 is Kate Smith. January 24th, 1937 is Lanny Ross. January 31st, 1937 is Eddie Cantor. February 7th, 1937, Jack Benny. Valentine's Day, February 14th, 1937, Guy Lombardo. February 21st, 1937 is Deanna Durbin. February 28th, 1937 is Nino Martini. March 7th, 1937 is child star Bobby Breen. And rounding out the 1937 set is the March 14th, 1937 uh, supplement picturing Ben Burney. And then there was a limited collection in 1938. We resume on October 30th, 1938 with Teddy Lamar. November 6th, 1938, Mickey Rooney. November 13th, 1938, Priscilla Lane. November 20th, 1938, Spencer Tracy, who seems to have been a bit of an oversight till this time. Uh, November 27th, 1938, Dorothy Lamore. It's a popular one. December 4th, 1938, Errol Flynn. And these ones from 1938 are like the 1933s. You don't see them nearly as much as the uh, 36, 37 issues. December 11th, 1938, Betty Davis. December 18th, 1938, Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy. And that's the last of the movie-related scenes. We move to the Christmas Day one. December 25th, 1938 is The Shepherd's Worship. And then the Philadelphia Records seem to be done with their supplements, although in 1941 they issued this one of FDR. This is dated January 19th, 1941, and this is slightly larger. It's 8 by 10 as compared to the uh, 7 1⁄2 by 9 1⁄2. And they reissued this same pose... In 1944, October 29th, 1944. So that is, to the best of my knowledge, the complete collection of the 1930s M23 Philadelphia Record Movie Star Pop Culture Supplement Photos. 7.5 by 9.5, except for the FDR you're looking at. And these were issued once per week throughout the 1930s by the Philadelphia Record. I hope you enjoyed those. Uh, More of a group of sets, I guess, in a single set, but all from the same company over a number of years. And uh, you'll find a complete checklist of those at the main site at immortalephemera.com. And as you can see, I have several of these still for sale at this time. So you can find those at store.immortalephemera.com. And I might as well give Warren William one more plug. That's warrenwilliam.com. And I'll be back again in the future with a look at some more old movie cards, postcards, supplement photos like these I don't know what I'm going to grab yet hope you enjoyed watching this one though and I thank you very much for taking the time to do so bye